Okay, update. Got it out of there. Well, it's not quite, uh, not quite done yet. So she's out, so that was okay. The bigger screwdriver made a difference. Again, I kind of screwed that up a little bit. Um, but of course, it's a $10 fan, so we're not, we're not crying over any spilled milk just yet. All right, this motor is full of surprises. I'm gonna to try to show this to you. The shaft, the bearing in the shaft seems to move. See that? Now it's on the other side. So there is a bearing in there, but it's not it's not pressed into the motor housing. It's held in by what looks like these little plastic pieces. And it just flops around in there, which is really weird. Okay, that's that. All right, there she is apart. I brushed it out with the dust. Two of these things are in there permanently. Well, not permanently, but I won't take it apart. I'm just gonna flop it back together after I clean the bearing a little bit with the alcohol, clean the shaft, and I'm gonna oil it, throw it back together, and we're done. Uh, see how it goes. So now on the vintage van uh, servicing videos I've been watching, um, these are reservoirs that are supposed to have oil in them. At least on the old fans, that's what they are, and these aren't roller bearings, so don't look like it to me. So I'm going to attempt to put a little oil in there as I attempt to put oil on the bearing itself. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then, of course, I'll oil the shaft as I reassemble. That's the plan. Uh, I don't have a camera stand, so I won't be able to show you that, but you guys know how it goes. Um, that's the deal. All right, so those little motors back together. Um, I filled those little reservoirs and I oiled the shaft as I reassembled it. It's not spinning as freely as I would really like. Uh, let's see if I can show you. It kind of is slow. I'm not sure if that's the way it should be. Uh, so we'll wait until the uh, fan housings are dry in the sun and then we'll start putting this guy back together and see how it runs. I may just chuck it because it doesn't seem to have come together the way I hoped. Um, but I took it apart again and everything's clear, everything's lined up the way it's supposed to. It seems to be together fairly evenly. You know, I know you're supposed to look for, for all that stuff. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so here it is running on high. Sounds pretty good. So maybe it isn't that free in the bearing, but it seems to be running. And so I'll just pay attention to see if it heats up a lot. Um, sounds pretty good to me. I wouldn't be worried about that. If I take it off of here, you can see how quiet it is when it's not on the washing machine. So there you go. I think that's cool. Here we go. Really the most surprising part, although these plastic blade fans seem to be like that for years because the old Lakewoods are like this too, but you just press this on. You just push it down onto the shaft, which is really surprising. I'm going to look for the flat spot. I'm going to put it straight up so that I know where it is. And then the flat spot. You can barely see it inside there to keep it from spinning. I'm going to try to just push it down. Oh, look at that. There's even a dot on the top of the motor, uh, the, the, the plastic to see that. See the dot? That's very nice of them to do that for you. And down it goes. And now once the blades are finally on there, the spin down time isn't that bad see it seems all right so I'm not gonna worry about it but let's plug it in and see her run see how she goes make sure it's not overheating all right so here's that ten dollar fan hey it might be worth 11 bucks now that I've cleaned it and oiled it haha -ha. so let's uh, run it up to high and see how she does Push itself over. 
medium, low, there you go, back to high, it really does want to fall over, and now here's your spin down, off. Oh. over. The old fans are so heavy they're less likely to blow themselves over. Um, so that's a pretty good spin down. Better than it was I think. Uh, the motor doesn't seem to be binding. Seems to spin pretty nice. So I'm gonna put the grates on, put her in the window and see how she does for a while. See if it heats up. Um, working fine and not heating up and looks like a different fan with all the crap all of it so that feels good on to the next one one touch